welcome back to the Detroit Symphony Orchestra's COTS Virtual Music Series. My name is Miss Natalie, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning about the woodwind section. So repeat after me. W-O-O-D, your turn. W-I-N-D-S. And that spells woodwinds. Very cool. The instruments in this family all used to be made of wood, which gives them their name. But today they're made of wood, metal, plastic, or some sort of combination between those. You can play them by blowing air through the mouthpiece, and that's where the wind comes in woodwind, and opening and closing the holes with your fingers on the keys to change the pitch. The mouthpieces for some woodwinds, including the clarinet, oboe, and bassoon, use a thin piece of wood called a reed, which vibrates when you blow across it. The clarinet uses a single reed made of one piece of wood, while the oboe and bassoon use a double reed made of two pieces joined together. Just as with the brass family, the smaller woodwinds play higher pitches, while the longer and larger instruments play the really low notes. The woodwind family of instruments includes, from the highest sounding instruments to the lowest, the piccolo, the flute, oboe, English horn, clarinet, bass clarinet, bassoon and contrabassoon. Miss Hannah is going to give us a little bit more information about the flute from the Woodwind family. in your Detroit Symphony Orchestra. I'm really excited to show you what the Woodwind family is all about. I play this beautiful instrument, the flute. The flute is the highest of the woodwind instruments, except for the piccolo, which is the flute's sister, and is even higher and even smaller. To make a sound on the flute, you blow across the head joint like this. like blowing across a glass soda bottle to make a sound if you've ever tried that. Now I'll play some of the highest notes on the flute. That's pretty high, right? Composers often use the flute in the highest register to depict a certain animal. Listen to this and think about what animal you think it sounds like. sounds like a bird? I do. Now I'll play some of the lowest notes on the flute. <laughs> to end my demonstration of the flute, I will share with you a duet of my friend Mina and I performing a piece by the composer Mozart. Thank you. 
Hannah and Miss Mina a big round of applause. The piece they played was a duet, which means that two musicians play two different parts at the same time. And the piece was composed by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Can you repeat that after me? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He was a musical genius that had composed many, many classical works. I think you know some of his pieces. But how did Mozart's flute duet make you feel? Happy, sad, awake, or sleepy? Can you remember how Miss Hannah played her flute? We're going to play along with her and move with the music with this next piece that she performs for us. Thank <laughs> you. 